Hello and welcome back. We are going to be looking at Mike McCready's parts to Why Go off the 10 album, uh, including his shredtastic solo. Um, a couple of things. The solo is very quick, uh, so quick that I haven't yet learnt it, but I will learn it in due course once I get a bit more time to um, uh, chuck it up as a, as a cover version with both guitar parts. Uh, but the tab is all there and the notes that I'm playing won't change so it's as close as I could possibly get it to the uh, original album version um, some may think that's a little pointless uh, but part of this channel is uh, to give you a little insight into how the songs are played and hopefully uh, teach you them and the other side of it is um, uh, to document really what They've uh, they've done in this humongous body of work. So, uh, and also a reference point for myself when I uh, I inevitably forget how I play some of these songs. So before we get cracking, one of the things that I failed to mention in the Stones uh, lesson for Why Go is that there are three bars of nine eight dotted throughout the tune. There's one in the intro just before the guitars come in, and there's one each after the main sort of rock riff. You'll see it in the tab anyway, and I will uh, run you through that. But first, let's crack on with the intro. Um, so that you're playing a couple of chords, and then you're doing a load of scratchy, wary stuff. So I'll tab out the chords, and then we'll get into his main riff. So enjoy. So five bars of four, four, and let's count the nine, eight bar in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> So that played again slowly. Then you're going to play a load of noise followed by this little lick. Okay, so the notes in the verse and chorus riffs are the same, but for the verse riff you're playing with less overdrive, and aside from the last note of the phrase, it's uh, palm muted. Here's how it is at tempo. And that's slowed right down. Okay, you get the idea. The bridge and chorus riffs are the same in terms of dynamics, just watch out for the bar 9-8 at the end of the bridge. Okay, let's look at that slowed down. Look at that 9 8 riff slowly one more time. And to tempo. Then you're back into another verse and bridge. Just before the chorus, Mike plays a little lick coming out of the bridge riff. So you end that riff with the third and final bar of 9 8 like this. And then he plays this. And the chorus riff seven times. So the eighth measure you play this. Okay, solo time. 
strap in because this is a fast one. Here is how it starts to tempo. <laughs> Okay, so you start with this, and then you play this four note pattern uh, repeated really quickly. So start slowly and just build up to speed. Okay, so. All right, here's the first phrase slowly. tempo okay second phrase is this slowly again slowly there's a tempo to tempo okay for the next section you switch to the neck pickup to tempo that goes like this and then slowly so that pull off on the open A is more an incidental really Okay, let's do that a couple more times. Then you got some bends on the second fret of the G string. So that whole section goes like this. Slow that down. Okay, with the next phrase. Another, another bang. Okay, next phrase is this. Here's it in full to tempo. One last time slowly. Okay, on to the next phrase. how I think he plays it but you could also do it this way I think that's a bit clunky so I think he plays it like this so I haven't learned this next part to tempo my apologies but I'll play it slow down for you after the bend you switch to the neck pickup and back to the bridge for the final phrase that first part is really quick so it should sound something like this and then the next phrase sounds something like this and slow down Okay, so it's a bit sloppy, but I did warn you I hadn't learned it yet. So then the final phrase of the solo, back to the bridge pickup, and it goes like this. And again slowly. And 
ending with those two bends. Sheesh. So then you're back into the chorus riff and into the ending, uh, which goes like this. Etc. And the ending again slowly. I hope you enjoyed that. That was tricky to say the least. Probably his most difficult solo in my opinion. Um, it is just quick and uh, lots of amazing little blues licks in there. So anyway, that's it from me and see you next time. Cheers, bye.